From the outside, the hustle and bustle here at Mercy Hospital of Buffalo is what you'd expect. But if you look closer, we as the ECMO specialists, there are some hidden unsung heroes. As difficult as COVID was, we all really just got together and made things happen. And I think our morale is better. Everything, our teamwork is just phenomenal. Lena Quarantello is a CVICU nurse and ECMO specialist here at the hospital. So this is the tubing that you would see the blood coming out of the patient. While she is able to run labs and monitor patients on ECMO, it. This is my patient. This is my baby right here. I did think metal wires, tubes, a medical device in general as a patient, let alone a baby. But Quarantello explains ECMO isn't something you can just hook up and walk away from. We're here 24 7 because you want to make sure there's no clot formation. There's no air getting into the system. It's very, very important to have a, a eye on this. Quarantello says 800 milliliters of blood is rushing outside a patient's body at upwards of 5000 RPM. It removes carbon dioxide from the blood and then returns the blood back into the body with oxygen and all six Western New Yorkers were put on it. To date worldwide, only about 2,000 patients have been put on ECMO during the pandemic. Dr. Hirsch Jane, a cardiac surgeon here at Mercy, explains why this machine has been such an important tool. So all that barrel trauma, all that pressure that we have to use on the ventilator to get the oxygen in, carbon dioxide out, that has negative effects on the lungs. And so to help combat that, we can use this and help rest the lungs. It was the last option, he says, for patients struggling against COVID-19. Without it, they likely would have succumbed to the infection and become another statistic that we all have talked about over the last six months. And thankfully, you know, for four out of the six of them, we were un, uh, able to not have them be a statistic. Daryl Wright being one of them, we introduced you to him on Tuesday. He spent three weeks on ECMO, recently celebrating his 51st birthday, saying thank you for that opportunity. He says just is not enough. Thank God for that because if that machine wasn't available. I wouldn't be here today. Looking back, they're like a family, even though they've never really met. I knew phone numbers by heart to certain family members because we would call them and make sure they were updated. Giving them a second chance at life. And it's amazing to watch these people get better, go home to their families. Um, I've, I've actually been uh, to a wedding of a ECMO patient of mine. Um, so I was able to afford him that. Now, even though Wright and the doctors here at Mercy Hospital of Buffalo spent three weeks together, they don't really know each other, let alone had a conversation. And as we continue to follow his journey, we will be here as they reunite. And we look so forward to sharing that story with you here on Spectrum News. For now in South Buffalo, I'm Brianna Foose, Spectrum News.